These teams are revved up and raring to go. FCS Championship playoff action is next. We were really excited to be in the tournament, and you know, I thought we had a good week of preparation, first of all, and then a good trip down to Nichols State. And you know, our guys uh, were ready to go, and the game, you know didn't turn out the way we would have liked it to turn out. You gotta be able to score points and um, you know Nichols did a nice job on defense of just limiting our opportunities down there and we we gotta be able to punch those things in but the turnovers were key you know especially being backed up we can't put our team in that situation. The early momentum was we had it but we just weren't able to you know capitalize for some scores. It was a little disheartening on the sideline just watching you know them run the football and that's something that we put a lot of emphasis in here is, is making sure teams can't do that. I thought our effort was good we just needed to execute at a higher level and and make some some more plays to get some scores or you know turnovers and give us field position and that just didn't happen. Nichols will win it today by a final score of 24 to 6 UND season comes to an end on the Bayou. Every year except for the first year we've been here or 2017 we're either in the playoffs or the last game determines whether we're in or out so I think that's we're always playing meaningful football, and now it's an opportunity that, hey, we always talk about our guys of being able to take the next step. Like, hey, this is something that should be an expectation um, you know, at the University of North Dakota is to, to get in the playoffs, and uh, that should be the standard. And then as, as you're in, you know, you got to have some things go your way, and, you know, wh whether it's, you know, get a seed, you know, get home games, that kind of stuff. But at least if you're in the tournament, you have an opportunity to be able to, uh, to make a run at it, and I think. You know, that was really important for our guys. I think our guys will, will gain some confidence from this season. If any time you can get that experience uh, being in the tournament um, and having that opportunity, I think it helps you, helps you grow. Um, and, you know, that's, that's our vision for the program. We want to get in the playoffs, and, and ultimately we want to win games in the playoffs and win a championship. And I think having that opportunity is a, a good step. Uh, it's a good building point. But uh, I think all offseason we're going to have that, that bad taste in our mouth and we're going to want to get back there and, and want to want to win in the playoffs and, and, and make a run. We had a lot, of, a lot of great times, you know, a lot of exciting finishes to games that we'll remember. I think, you know, starting out um, kind of that week three game against Sam Houston State, we weren't too sure how, how the type of team we were. You know, we played Drake, which was a, a good competitive game, and we played MDSU, which is also the same thing. But, you know, it was a big win and a big loss, so we kind of were unsure on how the season was going to go and, you know, what kind of team we were. And, you know, we came out to a wrecked opponent home and we beat them. And, then, you know, from there, it's kind of where we got the train going. And, you know, we had that confidence for the rest of the season. One particular moment for me was uh, after the Idaho State game, you know, obviously didn't go at all how we planned. We came back that next day and just had, a, like, just a meeting on defense. And, um, you know, some things were said in that meeting I just kind of think changed the way we went about things after that. So that was a big moment for me. I think the thing that stands out to me is uh, all the adversity that we hit as a team and then how we battled through and kept fighting. I mean, Idaho State was definitely a big hit for us. We bounced back from there and I think the season was, was it just showed a lot, of, a lot of the qualities of the guys on this team and the leadership that we have to be able to fight our way back and maybe get into the playoffs after what happened. The thing that probably will never like slip my mind would be probably just defending our home turf, you know. I'm just gonna remember, you know, we, things didn't always go how we wanted them to, but at the end of the day, we protect our home. One thing that'll stand out about, you know, the toughness of our senior class, I, I just really believe those guys, you know, when we got to a point in our season where we had to make a decision, are we gonna hang together? and do this and show some grit and toughness. I think they led us in that way and there were several guys that did that. Those senior guys, I think, you know, there wasn't a lot of them, but they all led our football team and they all had probably their best year that they had in their careers here at North Dakota. Really cool group, uh, guys that li like being around each other, that guys that are, are good for the locker room and, uh, you know, led us to this point in the playoffs and, and uh, you know, I think they kind of left the place higher than they found it and, Really appreciative of those guys and everything they did for the program, and uh, we'll definitely miss them. Well, I love those guys. You know, there's so many of them you know, have put their heart and soul into this program, whether they were here five years, four years. This is such a special experience to see those guys give up so much and sacrifice so much for a program. So you remember them, and they're always a part of us, and will be a part of us forever and ever. When you first get here, everybody tells you how how fast everything goes and you know you're 
an 18 year old, you don't really believe them. You come in here as freshmen, you just don't know what's going on, and then in the blink of an eye, it's all done. It's just crazy how, how fast it goes. It's gone by so fast, it's hard to explain, honestly. Every step you take in your life from high school, is like, oh, it goes by so fast, and then you get to college, you're like, oh, you know, I got, I got four or five years, and then you wake up one morning and start to get over. Good job, baby. Proud of you, man. Proud of you. One more, one more, one more. Obviously, you know, hanging out with the guys every day is, you know, something that's unforgettable. Just being around the guys, and I mean, just the, the teammates I got, and, you know, the guys that have, guys like Donnell and Mason and Pat and all those guys, Andre Steiger, Austin Gordon, guys that have been here for five years and just really worked their tails off to get to this point. I think I'll miss just being with all the guys. You know, we're together so many hours in a day, and everyone lives with each other, so it just, like, extends past football and those relationships will last forever. Game day, teammates, practice, you know, one-on-ones, everything. There's, there's nothing I won't miss. <laughs> Came in as a Canadian kid who didn't know much about American football and, you know, quickly, quickly realized how big of a atmosphere they have and how, how big the culture is here. So, yeah, just thank you for letting me come in and play in the game that I love. To my, my parents, my family members, and all the fans, I just want to say thank you guys, you know, means the world for all the support that you provided for myself and my teammates. My family, my parents are the best. Thank them, my grandparents, siblings, just everybody that ever helped me get to where I'm at is just, uh, just can't thank them enough, to be honest. All I can give you is a thank you. I just appreciate everybody who supported me along the way. You know, just everybody who believed in me when I didn't even believe in myself. So I just, that's, that's all I can say, thank you. Thanks to UND, thanks to all the coaches and my teammates. It's, it's been an amazing four years. I'm sad to see it go, but very happy that it happened.